Yo, what's up, everybody? I played the Sandland demo today, and uh, I'm just going to start by saying, uh, yeah, straight up front, this ain't it. I don't think that this game is the one. This demo did not leave a good first impression in my mind at all. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it and tell you about it. So some basic overview about the game. This is a single player action RPG developed by ILCA, which is most known for their Pokemon Brilliant Diamond game, Pokemon Shining Pearl, and that One Piece Odyssey game. Now, this story is supposed to be based off the manga created by Akira Toriyama, which is why it has the same exact illustration style as Dragon Ball. Now, the plot centers around Beelzebub and his two companions, Thief and Sheriff Rao. They live in a world where the water has been all but dried up, so now their main goal is to try to find the legendary spring hidden within the desert. Sandland is set to release on April 25th in the US and the 26th in the EU. Now with all that basic info out the way, let me tell you about the demo. The demo is gonna let you explore a portion of the open world. You can explore that for as long as you want to and can get a feel for the combat as well. You'll have access to Beelzebub, Rowl, and Thief as your three main characters and three vehicles as well. If you play the demo, you'll also be rewarded with some bonus items that you'll be able to use when the full game actually releases. Let me go ahead and jump in and tell you about the combat. When it comes to the combat, it centers around two different things. You can either fight on foot or you can fight in a vehicle. If you decide to fight on foot, you have access to your basic abilities and a special attack and a heavy attack. Uh, the special attack is available whenever your gauge is all the way full. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend fighting on foot unless you absolutely have to or are just that curious. And let me go ahead and tell you why. If you end up fighting flying enemies, they stay in the sky for so long that you will never be able to hit them. You don't have any range attacks and you can't jump high enough to actually attack them. And if they come down and you try to attack them in the middle of their attack, that attack overrides your attack. So you end up getting hit anyway. The range units in this game and the vehicle units will also beat your ass because they have high mobility, high defense, and high HP, and will just overwhelm you with sheer numbers most of the time. The bigger monsters in this game will also do the same because they have high defense and high HP and they come at you with very strong attacks that can be interrupted. So that essentially makes fighting on foot a bad idea unless you're going up against like, like really, really basic units. So on to the second choice of combat, which is the vehicles. The game gives you access to three vehicles right off rip, which is the motorcycle, the battle armor, and a tank. Each can be customized as far as its weapons go, armor, mobility options, and its armor options. The demo does give you access to a few different missile launchers, automatic weapons, some mobility options, and some armor options as well. But let's start with the motorcycle first. On the upside, it's one of the fastest vehicles that they give you access to. You can get across the map in no time at all, which is really, really nice, as long as you're basically going in a straight line with minimum turns. The turns, one of the downsides is the weapons in junction with the turning system of the motorcycle is just not that good. They give you an access to this drift button, but it really still does not take turns well. Like it takes wide looping turns and you cannot get it to cut. So it just is frustrating. The HP and the defense on this thing is also super low. So the way this game works is, if your HP runs out while you're still inside the vehicle, it's a game over. The vehicle explodes and you die along with it. So if you're getting into fights, this is not the vehicle that you actually wanna be in. Now the vehicle that you do wanna be in is the tank. In contrast, this vehicle is just miles better when it comes to actually being in combat. And it's a freaking powerhouse. It has very high HP, high defense, Plus you get access to three weapons depending on which loadout that you go with. And I mean, these weapons hit hard, man. Nice. Now, in contrast to the motorcycle, the tank has way better control. And because of that, when you're actually in combat trying to move around and shoot at the same time, it actually feels better. Like it, the control of it feels how it should. It, you don't feel like like you're having trouble trying to lock onto an enemy whenever you're actually playing. Lastly, there's the battle suit. Honestly, I like this one just about as much as the tank. I still think the tank is more superior when it comes to battle just because its long range capabilities are more plentiful than the battle suit. But the battle suit's still all right though. Like you get melee attacks, 
you get a short range shotgun which it's extremely short range um, you get a machine gun that you're able to use or you can also load up some uh, cannons on your shoulders which are really good for taking down enemies at a range though i find the tank more superior when it comes to battles out in the open world honestly whenever i go into the ruins i would prefer to be inside the battle suit just because it's able to kind of get around the corridors a little bit easier and it has access to jump and hover abilities which is makes it a little bit easier to, to, to try to traverse those ruins and though i find the tank to be more superior when you're out in the open world i'll give credit to the fact that the battle suit does seem far better suited for the ruins and whenever you're inside the battle suit you have access to jumping and hovering abilities which whenever you're exploring those ruins you're gonna have to do at some point is usually jump and or hover across something which the tank just can't do so those three vehicles essentially wrap up what you're able to use inside of combat um that plus being on foot the game centers around you trying to be inside the vehicle like it's built for that that's what the whole point of the game is That all being said, let's go ahead and jump into what the open world is like. And honestly, it's meh, to say the least. Let me go ahead and explain why. So the game does give you access to a section of the open world. And while you're in it, you're able to get into battles with people, find loot, go spelunking through caves, and that's generally about it. Now, all this, at the end of the day, it just kind of ends up feeling empty. And the reason being is yes there's enemies roaming around but there's huge spaces where there's just nothing nothing at all yes there's a lot of loot but you don't have anything to do with the loot like the demo doesn't give you access to anything to do something with the loot yes there is platforming but it is very unimaginative i never felt like the jumping mechanics and the climbing mechanics were actually good or even well suited for this world there's certain times where I feel like I almost had to like luckily get my way up something and it didn't feel like, oh, that was the jump that I was supposed to make. It, it just it felt off. And then the ruins that you explore were completely lackluster. I mean, you basically just go through, you punch a couple enemies, you punch a couple crystals, you grab like maybe a couple pieces of loot and then you leave. And it never felt spectacular. It never felt grand. There was no boss monster in there. So it kind of just felt lackluster, to be honest. And on top of all that, it is a RPG, so you would expect some story-driven beats inside the game. Well, the demo doesn't provide any of that. There's zero story provided. Also, the game constantly tells you that you'll see other NPCs out in the world and you'll be able to interact with them. There's zero NPCs, man. I didn't see not a single one when I was playing. I did find this house, and when I got to the house, I tried everything I could to get inside, interact with it, nothing. There was, there was nothing to be done there. The only real interaction that you get is either with enemies who don't say anything but die and your companions, which trust me, that shit gets old real fast, man. They say the same stuff over and over. I wonder what they might have originally been built for. I wonder what they might have originally been built for. One dangerous place to leave your children. One dangerous place to leave your children. And the game gives you zero options to be able to turn it off. It's very weird to say in this day and age, but after playing inside the open world, like if you're gonna give me access to an open world sandbox, don't make it feel so empty that I don't wanna come back to it. And that is kinda how this game made me feel. So let me just wrap this up and just explain my whole opinion about this video i'm very much of the, of the mindset that if you're going to give me a sandbox give me something to do in it and i feel like this game doesn't really give you anything exciting to do within this sandbox herein lies my issues with the thing i just found it to be extremely boring the combat becomes stale very quickly i mean essentially all you do is just back up back up back up shoot back up back up back up shoot and you're pretty much good most of the enemies can't keep up with you. They can't do enough damage to you as long as you're just being mobile inside the vehicle. The only way they really stand a chance is if you hop out on foot and attack them or if you just sit still and don't move, then yes, they'll get to you. Other than that, it just, it wasn't that challenging. And it, like I said, it just became very stale. And I completely forgot to mention this earlier, but your companions do almost nothing. 
if they're not actually being commanded to do their special abilities while they're on cooldown, they just kind of sit there and do nothing. And I know that there's a combat tree in there and it's very limited because it's a demo, but at no point did I feel like I really needed any other moves inside the game in order to tackle any of the situations that I was in. Maybe once they strip you of the vehicles, there's something there, but when you have access to your vehicles, everything else about the game just basically becomes simplified. So if you're not gonna really give me exciting combat, hopefully there'll be an exciting story. Well, since they provide you almost zero information about the story, there's nothing really there to latch on, unless you're already a fan of the property or have a strong interest for this title, it just, there's nothing there. There's nothing there that, that gives you any indication of what is this game gonna be about. On top of that, the open world, it just really made me feel like I was playing a game from like 10 years ago. Just a bunch of space, but with nothing to do, nothing to see. N no part of it made me think, oh, I can't wait to go explore this corner so I can kind of see what's down there. I even if I did it, there was pretty much nothing exciting down there. I just kind of really found myself being bored by the end of it. And that's kind of a shame. I'm gonna try not to overreact on this or anything like that. I'll just say that this demo did not leave a good impression. And I feel like if you haven't played this demo, do not play this demo because I think it's actually gonna do more harm than good. And I would absolutely, absolutely wait for reviews to come out on this game. Then, depending on what people say, decide on if this game is really for you because this demo gave me nothing that gave me an indication that I would spend full price for this game or spend my time on this game. For anybody who has tried this demo, please let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about this. Maybe someone else got something from this that I just didn't understand. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. I'm gonna try to come out with more videos uh, centered around demos and free to play games that I think are worth a try. Um, subscribe if you like the video and uh, I'll catch you later. This is absolute murder on my hairstyle.